Patient-generated data has been around for a really long time, but really not adopted. And there's been a, a myriad of different reasons as to why that was the case. Um, a lot of times the data itself wasn't structured. Um, so meaning it was, you know, very open-ended free text kind of information. So we think about patient-generated data, we think about things like, how are you today? Um, so it could be really open-ended, or how was the quality of your sleep last night, you know? And so what's important around that is to structure the data themselves. So instead of asking it kind of wholeheartedly or free, um, you ask things like, you offer a drop-down that says, my quality of sleep was okay or um, not good. And, and then being able to do analytics around that data is much more easier. Um, and so us as, as a personal health technology company and having um, a sophisticated product that we do offers the ability to gain that patient-generated data and then push that back up to clinicians so that they can use it to treat their population. So not only are they seeing what their clinical data is, which is you know, your, your vital signs and all of the information that they would normally see in their electronic health record, but now they can actually see potentially how is medication affecting sleep patterns? Um, how is taking their blood glucose uh, you know, six, seven times a day potentially affecting their quality of life? And so, and, and how are those measurements um, whether it's a high blood glucose value or a low glucose, blood glucose value, potentially um, being a, you know, resulting in those high or low ranges because of other factors. And so patient-generated data is just a wealth of information that allows clinicians to now take what they've always known and harness it with a, a structured, sourced, appropriately uh, you know, data stream of, of information to allow them to really treat the patient in a different way than they thought possible. What's really interesting about patient-generated data is you think about how clinical research has been done in the past. It's really been around what we deem as quality of care. So, you know, when the patient's treated in an intervention, you know, what is the pre-data or the baseline data and what is the patient population look like now that it's received that specific intervention? Well, they really haven't um, looked at quality of life, um, which is a lot of what patient-generated data can offer. Um, so things like those daily measurements that they didn't have access to before. Um, so now you can not only really do research on a population, you know, pre and post, but you can also do it during. Um, so it allows for quicker research um, results and measurements to be taken. Um, it allows for uh, patients to feel included in research studies in a way they couldn't before. And now allows clinicians not only to rate and rank and understand quality of care and how these interventions can make a difference, um, but can also gauge what does this mean from, from a, a quality of life perspective for patients. Um, and so we're hoping at a couple of things with patient-generated data that can be used. One, it will speed up the research process, which is an incredibly slow Medical research is, is usually done in years, not months or weeks. Um, and so we're hopeful that maybe patient-generated data can, can shorten that process and come to discoveries quicker than um, you know, industry does today.